Python Flask data access object. In this video, you are going to learn why data access object is necessary and create data access object for PostgreSQL and then use it in web application. The term data access object is widely used. In this video, I will use it in a narrow sense, that is, as a data access object for a database. Go back to the Blueprint product file. VI Blueprint products.py Other menus, as well as this menu, can access the database. All menus have the same procedure. And get configuration information for accessing the database. Connect to the database. Create a cluster for the connection. Execute query. Fetch data if the query is a selected statement. These steps are the same for any menu accessing the database. Therefore, it is convenient to create a basic common library that manipulates access to the database. I created some basic libraries and uploaded them to GitHub. In order to download the libraries from GitHub, you need to install Git first. CNF install git. Yes. Complete. The existing shop directory is not associated with the repository. Move the existing shop directory to a temporary directory. Move shop temporary shop. Clone the GitHub repository. Git clone It has been cloned. I created a basic library file for manipulating database operations. VI PCSQL.py. This file is a data access object for PostgreSQL. I will briefly explain the main features of the code. Class PCSeeker is defined. Member function connect is used to connect the database. The key element of this member function is psychopist2.connect. Post, port, user, password, db name are stored in the configuration variable cf. cf comes from cfp. 
CFP is a config parser. It is obtained by reading a configuration file db.ini in the subdirectory ini of the sharp configuration directory. In order to fetch data in dict format, the default value of cursor factory option is set to cycp2.extras.dict cursor. If you cannot connect to the database, an error message is written to the log directory. A cursor is created with a given cursor factory option. After calling this member function connect, two objects are created self.con and self.cursor. For this member function connect to work, two directories are required. Sharp configuration directory and log directory. I'll create them later. Member function clause is used to disconnect the database. If a cursor is open, close the cursor. If a connection is open, close the connection. Member function execute is used to execute a query with optional parameters. To avoid SQL injection, do not build a query by using string concatenation or substitution. Use this form of execute statement instead. The first argument query has placeholders, and the second argument parameter has the binding values. I will return to this point in more detail later. If the execution fails, rollback of all transactions occurs. Member function fetch all is used to fetch all selected data. Member function fetch one is used to fetch one row of selected data. Member function commit is used to commit all transactions. Member function roll pack is used to roll back all transactions. Member function get query order is used to sort data by a column. Member function get query limit is used in page navigation. When the class bit sticker is created with provided DBID, it connects to the database. When the class bit sticker is destroyed, it closes open cursor and connection.
you are going to create a DB configuration file. mkdir sharp config ini vi db dot ini The ini file is divided into sections. The section name is set equal to the db name. Host is the DNS name of your Amazon RDS instance. Port is the default port 5432. User is the default user Postgres. Password is your password. DB name is DB Shop Main. I am going to modify blueprint product.py with the use of PG SQL via blueprint product.py. Import PG SQL library. Create PG SQL and connect to the database DB Sham main. This line replaces these lines. Replace console.execute with DAO.execute. Replace console.fetchure with DAO.fetchure. The overall source code becomes simple. Save this file and restart your patch. Open a browser and access the Product Manage List menu. The same data are obtained with the use of Data Access Object. In summary, Data access object is required to control common database operations in a single file. The specific database interface is concealed, so you have only to focus on business logic. A data access object library file for PostgreSQL is created and successfully applied to web application. Thank you for watching this video.